right. Let's fire up the quad shot. Well, because I think I'm from Manchester, from the north. Yes, sometimes. Um, one of my teammates today said, oh, he said I'm, very, I'm very disappointed in you. I said, I can't help me golf. And he said, no, 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 your accent. I thought you were from Manchester. I said, no, I'm, 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 the, the, the northest I get is Harrow. That's where I'm from originally. Well, the funniest one I got, the weirdest one I got, I think, I got a, um, a, an invite to somebody's wedding who I'd never, ever met before in my life. And they invited me to the wedding and asked if I would um, be prepared to get up and do like sort of a best man speech in the style of Gene Hunt, or as Gene Hunt, basically. So obviously we had to decline that one because the money wasn't right. Um, so they came back and said, OK, we understand, but um, is there any chance we could have a, a life-size cardboard cutout of him instead? <laughs> it's absolutely true. Funny enough, something happened the other day. I was just walking back from the shops with my kids. I'd just been out buying ice cream. I was just walking up my road, and this car drove past, and he stopped, did a three-point turn, came back and pulled up beside, and I thought he was going to ask directions or something. And he just turned and said, not, uh, not firing up the quattro today, then? It's like, no, not today. Yeah, done as much as you can with it. It's been, it's been great, and I've loved it, and I'll miss playing him, but... You know, all good things at the end of the day. And, you know, the danger, if you carry it on, it just becomes sort of caricatured and you lose the thread of what the show and what he was about. And, and nobody would want that to have. The writers didn't want that. I didn't want that. Football. What a dire summer, eh? <laughs> Fucking football. Excuse my language. Overpaid buggers. I, I don't care how good a manager Capello is. I, I think there's a massive lack of communication between players and manager and it, it's sort of rather shaming that you know you watch the World Cup and you see the Spanish being managed by a Spaniard, you see the Germans being managed by a German, the Dutch being managed by a Dutch, you know you go on and on and then we come out bloody Italian. I also think we need to have a cap now on, on the amount of foreign players coming into the Premiership, I think it's doing more damage you know and, and I think they need to revamp the whole FA, I think the only person in the FA worth his salt is Trevor Brookin. Gene Hunt should manage the English national side. That's, that's maybe that'll be my next gig, because if I was to do Gene, I'll only do it if I can manage the national side. Because the trouble is, if Gene Hunt FA would stand by fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> what have you achieved with the FA? Fuck all. You know, it, it, they're a very frustrating team to support at the moment, because they're sort of the, the nearly runs, and you're just sort of hanging in there, waiting for them to sort of gel and mature and come together, but this is five years now, so I don't know how long the fans and the ball can, can cope with it, really. Well, each season you say it, you know, you hope each season they seem to start off quite fast, but, you know, I mean, I, mean, I admire the team. I admire the fact that Wenger's built it up from scratch and he's determined to carry on that policy. I think it's important rather than sort of buying it in like some of the uh, teams we know. Look at their squad, and they should do, but whether they can play together. I mean, it's the same with the England time team. You know, you put these guys together, and they just don't seem to be able to gel. They don't seem to be able to, to, to perform in the way that, um, that they, they can for their, for their clubs. And, you know, you look at Rooney, he was just, was that, no doubt he was injured. He was still recovering from the Bayern Munich injury, and he wasn't fit. Most of Chelsea. <laughs> All of Chelsea. <laughs> I can't pick one out, 11 of them I can. Well, I'm going to have to stick with my boys. I'm going to have to say Arsenal. They're suddenly going to gel and come together as one, and they're going to destroy the opposition. And I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs>